pipeline and uh, I just think I looked the part for and uh, and was able to act the part for it. I could relate a little bit to the arrogance of, of uh, you know, <laughs> Brookhart. <laughs> well, I grew up, I grew up surfing since I was like three years old. My father was a champion surfer from Southern California, moved to Hawaii when I was like three months old. And I was fortunate enough to grow up at Pipeline Beach, which at that time was the premier surfing spot in the world. So I learned how to, you know, surf at the greatest surf spot in the world and, and had all the best surfers in the world or, you know, as, uh, as like role models. So I got Jerry Lopez and all these great surfers. And I think it was just a natural progression for me to be a surfer. <laughs> Becoming a great big wave rider was something that really was in me as a, yo as a young man. I think I was born with a desire to, to uh, you know, to, to challenge myself and maybe challenge my fears, maybe come in grips with them and know your fears a little bit better and, and to really appreciate and respect big waves, you have to fear them. I think that riding giant waves for me is the one thing in my life that makes me feel alive. Like when I go out and surf huge waves, I feel like, I, and during that moment, yeah, that's why I'm here. During the shooting of North Shore with Gregory Harrison and guys like Matt Adler, and these were these are cool guys, and I've I've uh, since developed friendships with uh, with with Gregory and and Philbin. Uh, he's you know since become a, a surf instructor, and he loves surfing, and and it's interesting to see how for some people it changed their life in one direction, maybe towards their acting, and someone like Philbin who was an actor became a surfer so it was kind of it's cool to see the influence that that uh, a movie had on him. Jerry Lopez who uh, I grew up with as a young man builds my boards and I, I work closely with him and uh, and I and I see some of the boys I see Aki and I see Derek oh and I see some of these guys you know throughout the winter or we'll be crossing in an airport or something but uh, but not as much as you'd think you'd think I would be have seen them more but our, our type of big wave riding kind of takes us away from, you know, the normal surf locations and, and the normal surf life. So I think surfing, and I hope, I pray to God that surfing will get the, the admiration and the reverence it deserves because it is a, a difficult sport to master. <laughs> well, North Shore is an interesting film because either you've never heard of it or you've seen it a hundred times and you know every, every word. So it's a little bit of a cult cult film and uh, and it's always surprises me who has seen it and how many times they've seen it and how well they know the film or you oh you ever seen a movie oh no sure never they never even crossed their path so it, it, it's uh for those who have seen it i think it's been it's been some for some of them it's been like their little like a uh like a little map of the of surfing world of the culture it was like something that identified the culture and especially during that time period uh so it's 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 been, uh, uh, I think it's been an, an interesting, I think it's really exposed surfing to a lot of people and, and a lot of people have been drawn to surfing through this film. Unlike most of the other surf films that have ever been made, <laughs> you know, because their depiction of surfing is usually uh, less than flattering, let's just say. <laughs>